What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and in addition to iOS 13.5.1, Apple also released iOS 13.5.5 Beta 1 for registered developers today. So, of course, in this video, we're gonna be covering what's new in this update, the performance, the battery life, bugs, and more. So I had a lot of people earlier asking why they did not get the iOS 13.5.1 update. And the reason for that was because they had the developer profile installed. And now we know why Apple didn't push the update out to those who had the developer profile installed. And that's because they were planning on releasing iOS 13.5.5 later today as well. And of course, that's what we're covering in this video. But anyways, you can see the size of this update. Of course, it was a big update going from a public release to a beta or a beta to a public release. It's always going to be a big sized update. So it came in just over four gigabytes on my iPhone 11 Pro here. And like I mentioned, it will be big across the board no matter what device you install it on. So if you go to our settings and check out the build number to about 13.5.5, you can see here the long build number, it's 17G5035D. So we do have a D at the end of the build number there, which does indicate we are definitely going to be getting multiple betas of 13.5.5 as expected. And Apple's doing exactly what they did with iOS 13.4.5, because as you guys remember, they released iOS 13.4, 13.4.1, and then jumped to 13.4.5, which wound up being iOS 13.5. So it looks like Apple is kind of doing the same thing here with iOS 13.5.5 but we will see as time goes on. But anyways, taking a look at the modem firmware, you can see that is unchanged in this update. It's still 1.06.00 for the iPhone 11 series. So now what's actually changed in iOS 13.5.5 beta one? And to be honest, I looked through every single settings page. I looked through every single toggle. I read all the text in the settings, everything on 13.5.1 and compared it to 13.5.5 and I did not find a single difference. So my assumption is that Apple released iOS 13.5.5 beta one, number one, to patch the uncovered jailbreak, just like they did with iOS 13.5.1, which was released earlier today. And number two, Apple probably released this to fix up some bugs. So it's still too early to tell which bugs have actually been fixed, but I would assume there are probably quite a few bugs that have been fixed here in 13.5.5 because I don't know why else Apple would release this unless there were actual bug fixes. So while there's not gonna be any physical changes, like nothing you can see, no new settings, no new you know verbiage in the settings, nothing like that, it could be a little bit more smooth than iOS 13.5.1. For example, going into dark mode and out of dark mode, the background seems to not be as you know laggy and not as less smooth, I guess. It's more smooth here on 13.5.5 than it is at 13.5.1. I also noticed the same with multitasking. It could be placebo, but it does feel a little bit smoother overall than 13.5 or 13.5.1. And that does also somewhat reflect in the Geekbench score. So as far as performance goes here in 13.5.5 compared to 13.5.1, Take a look at the top, that is iOS 13.5.5 beta one, 13.5.1 is directly below that. So 1334 versus 1333, so slightly higher in single core, but take a look at the multi-core. Multi-core is greatly improved here in 13.5.5 compared to 13.5.1. So we have 3522 versus 3478. And take a look all down the list, nothing got to 3500 in this entire list. So nothing on iOS 13 that I have on this device, at least on the 11 Pro, which is what I use for pretty much every update, you can see this scored the highest in multi-core of any of those by a pretty nice margin. So you could definitely see some performance improvements here in 13.5.5, and this is just the first beta. So it could even get better, you know, it could even be faster when this actually gets released to the public. So that is a very good sign. You could see some performance improvements here in this update, even as early as beta one. Now, as far as battery life, that's an area where I probably would not expect a major upgrade in terms of you know getting better battery life, better on-screen and off-screen time. I would not expect a major difference at all coming from 13.5 or 13.5.1. So yeah, like I said, 13.5.5 beta one is looking like it's only bug fixes and a slight bump to the performance. But of course, if I do find any Anything else as time goes on I will be using this throughout the week if I do find anything else new you know enough to make a video I will make a follow-up video either this coming weekend or next week and I will mention it in the beta 2 video which I would assume we're probably gonna be on either a one week or a two-week cycle so we should see beta 2 either next week next Monday on the 8th or the following Monday on the 15th. So now should you update to iOS 13.5.5 beta one? And I usually recommend against updating to first betas. So instinctively I say no, 
But at the same time, this is a 0 0.5, 0 0.5 update. So it's likely not going to be very buggy at all, even on the first beta seed. So it's probably gonna be a lot more stable than you know previous beta. So I would say that if you're a developer and you want to update and be on the latest version, go ahead and update to 13.5.5 beta one. It's probably not gonna harm your device and it could be faster and patch up some bugs you were having on 13.5 or 13.5.1. But like I mentioned, if I do find anything else new in 13.5.5 beta one, I will make another video to let you know, or I may just include it in the beta two video whenever that comes out. But if you guys find anything else new in 13.5.5, let me know down in the comment below. You guys know I read all comments and I reply to a good majority of the comments down there. So let me know. I'm all ears to see if you guys find anything new in this update. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS 13.5.5 beta one. We got 13.5.1 today, got a new watch OS update, got a new TV OS update. And then of course we do get a new beta for developers. I would expect this to be out to public beta testers pretty soon. I will update the description when it is out to you public beta testers. So that's pretty much it for this update. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe also if you are looking forward to 13.5.5 beta 2 and of course the upcoming ios 14 betas which should start on june 22nd and i will be making of course a ton of videos on ios 14 as you guys are probably already preparing for but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon